हाफ लाइफ एंड मीन लाइफ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न दैट रेडियो एक्टिव डिके और रेडियो एक्टिविटी इज द फेनोमेन ऑफ स्पॉन्टेनियस ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ ए न्यूक्लियर रिजल्टिंग इन द रिलीज ऑफ एनर्जी एंड मैटर फ्रॉम द न्यूक्लियस ऑल्सो अकॉर्डिंग टू लॉ ऑफ रेडियो एक्टिव डिके एन इक्वल्स टू एन जीरो इरेज टू माइनस लैमरा इन टू टी वेल एन जीरो इज द नंबर ऑफ रेडियो एक्टिव न्यूक्लिया इन द सैम्पल एट सम आर्बिटरी टाइम टी जीरो एंड एन इज द नंबर ऑफ रेडियो एक्टिव न्यूक्लिया एट एनी सब्सिक्वेंट टाइम टी लैमडा इज द टीके कॉन्स्टेंट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ड्यूरिंग डीके प्रोसेस इज हाउ लॉन्ग द डीके प्रोसेस लास्ट देर आर टू टाइम मेजर्स फॉर दिस पर्पज हाफ लाइफ टी वन बाय टू एंड सेकेंड इज मीन लाइफ टाउ हाफ लाइफ टी वन बाय टू इज द टाइम इलेप्स बिफोर हाफ ऑफ द एक्टिव न्यूक्लियाई डीके लेट्स फाइन द रिलेशन फॉर हाफ लाइफ Suppose there are n zero active nuclei before decay. That is, at time t equals to zero. After half life t one by two, n zero by two nucleons undergo decay, and n zero by two nucleons remains active. Therefore, n zero by two equals to n zero into e raised to minus lambda into t one by two. e raised to lambda t 1 by 2 equals to 2 therefore lambda into t 1 by 2 equals to ln of 2 therefore t 1 by 2 equals to 0.693 by lambda this is the expression of half life of radioactive decay after every lapse of half life that is t 1 by 2 the population of given species Drop by factor of two. Mean life tau. It is observed that nuclei of some atoms disintegrate right in the beginning. For such nuclei, lifetime is zero. However, there are some nuclei that would disintegrate in the end, which is obviously after infinite time. therefore we need to consider another quantity called mean life which can give us idea of average time required for disintegration so we define the average life or mean life of a radioactive sample as the total lifetime of all the nuclei in the sample divided by the total number of nuclei present in the sample Consider a sample having n zero radioactive nuclei at time t equals to zero. If rate of radioactive decay is r equals to r zero e raised to minus lambda t, which is equals to lambda into n zero into e raised to minus lambda into t, then the number of nuclei delta n that decay between time t to t plus delta t. would be delta n equals to r delta t equals to lambda into n0 e raised to minus lambda t delta t approximately the life of each nuclei would be time t and therefore the sum of the lives of delta n nuclei will be t delta n equals to t lambda n0 e raised to lambda t into delta t Since some nuclei live short while others live longer therefore we obtain the mean life tau as follows tau equals to lambda n0 integration of t e raised to minus lambda t dt from 0 to infinity upon n0 which is equals to lambda into integrating t into e raised to minus lambda t dt from 0 to infinity integrating by parts we get this equation which can be solved to give this equation and further it can be simplified as 
Hence, tau equals to 1 by lambda. This is the expression for mean life of the radioactive sample. The relation between half life and mean life can be given as T1 by 2 equals to ln of 2 upon lambda, which is equals to tau ln of 2. I hope you understood this topic very well. Thanks for watching this video.